We all have a big fear, but what exactly is your story behind your biggest fear? Today on Face the Truth, we will be unlocking the stories behind three individuals' biggest fear and ending it off with, would you ever overcome this fear? I'm Jessica Garcia, and this is Face the Truth. What is your biggest fear? Dying. Losing a family member. Falling. What is the story behind your biggest fear? The story behind my biggest fear is the fact that I was a few hours away from going into a diabetic coma back in 2019. This all started because of a trip. I went to a swamp in a forest where I was bitten by many mosquitoes and the bites wouldn't go away. So I was taken to a doctor that prescribed me steroids to help me heal faster. And at the time, no one knew I had diabetes and diabetics are deathly allergic to steroids. So since I didn't know I had diabetes, I was immediately put into a bedridden position for the next couple of days with constant vomiting and barely eating anything other than a couple of saltine crackers here and there. It got to the point that I turned pale and my mom immediately took me to a hospital in Mexico about seven hours away because of how our insurance was at the time. So on the way there, I felt a a little bit better to the point where I was actually able to eat like mashed potatoes. But once we got across the border, I started to feel a lot worse and started to loosen things that weren't there. And once we were so close to the hospital, like literally 10 blocks away, there was a parade of kids driving cars across the road that blocked the road to the hospital. And we were stuck there for at most five minutes, but for me, it felt like a lot longer. And once someone actually saw me in the passenger seat looking dead, they stopped the parade and let us pass finally. And when we got there to the hospital, my mom had told me to stay in the car while she checked me in, but when she went inside, I started feeling like I was gonna faint. So I opened the car door and I fell on the curb and started vomiting and I just fell over. Then I remember a nurse running out with a with my mom in a wheelchair, but they put me into the wheelchair. They took me to a room and they stuck countless needles into me until I knocked out. When I woke up the next morning, the doctor diagnosed me with diabetes and told me if I hadn't gotten there two hours earlier, I would have gone into the diabetic coma. They would have had no idea when I'd wake up. I feel like this was a key moment in this fear because of how much of a low point I was in physically and mentally. And I remember how I didn't tell anyone about me being sick and thinking how they would actually know if I had actually gone to that coma. I'd say the story behind my biggest fear came when I was seven, when my sister had to be rushed to the hospital and just the fact of knowing that if we would have waited 30 minutes, she could have died. We had to wait patiently and hope for the surgery to be successful. So for around five hours, I was wondering to myself, What am I going to do? What if she dies? How is my life going to be without her? Who am I going to play with now? It was like losing the only person that I would do everything with and the only person that actually understood me. After the surgery, she had to stay two weeks in the hospital. And even though I was home during these two weeks, I missed my sister so much to a point where I would fall asleep crying. I wouldn't eat. All I wanted to do was be with her and for everything to be the same. So... This this past summer, I went on a camp, and there was this big lake at the camp, and they had like a little like, it was like I don't know how how high it was, but it was really high, and it was this platform that you could jump off, and jump into the lake, and of course they had us wear like like a, you know the life vest, but when you walked up there, you look down, you're like oh my god. And then when you, once you jump, you get that feeling in your stomach, the, the feeling that you're falling, and it's so horrible. And I remember the first time I did it, like, I didn't, I didn't want to do it, but my friends told me to do it. So I, I stepped up there, and it took me maybe, like, three minutes to actually jump. And when I jumped, I just closed my eyes, and all I could feel was that feeling in my stomach, that pressure. And I, I, it feels like you're going to die because you're just waiting to hit the, the, the water, and like it, it feels like forever, so you just feel like you're just falling and falling and falling, and that it's just it's just a horrible feeling. Do you ever feel like you're gonna overcome this fear? I don't think I'm gonna be ever able to actually overcome this fear fully, but I think I'm gonna be able to to an extent, to the point where like I can probably like actually fulfill my time with my friends and actually be able to spend time with them and make memories with them. No, I, I don't think so. I feel like I could work on it, but I don't think I like I could ever lose this fear. 
<laughs> I, I don't think so because as long as that as long as that feeling of, of the stomach the stomach feeling is there I'm always gonna gonna be scared of falling I don't know I, hopefully once I do it multiple times maybe but for, for now I don't think so <laughs> <laughs>